Hey everybody, welcome back. And today, I'm angry. Why am I angry? Well, basically, I'm angry because Chien Pao Dragonite, <laughs> basically, priority moves have become so good. Priority moves are so good right now. Um, and of course, there are checks, right? People can run Frigoref, they can run Psychic Terrain, they can run uh, Bruxish or Sarina if they really want to, right? But people didn't do that at the last regional, okay? If we look at the last regional results, we have one, two, three, four Chi and Pao Dragonite teams in top eight alone. That's half of the top eight Chi and Pao Dragonite. And then if we keep going, like you can just see there's so many like basically Chien Pao extreme speed teams down here. Like it's actually insane how many there are. It was the the probably the most used archetype at the regional, like like on day two. It's kind of insane. Um I think Chien Pao had more usage than Incineroar, and that's that's Incineroar, okay? <laughs> that's insane. And, um, I've, I've never made it a secret that I hate the move Extreme Speed, okay? But, this generation has exacerbated the problem, and it has finally come to the point where it is time for us to talk about Extreme Speed. And I'm mad about it. Alright, look. Extreme Speed is an 80 base power move that is plus 2 priority. And yes, it is a normal type move, so ghost types are immune to it, and and steel types resist it, and rock types resist it, whatever. But that's it. One immunity and two resistances is not that bad, especially for, you know, when, when rock and ghost really aren't, like, super common. I mean, yes, you have Goldengo and you have Fluttermane, but, like, rock types, there really aren't that many in the format that people are using, um, especially now that people aren't using Hisui and Arcanine as much. <laughs> there really aren't that many rock types you're gonna come up against. So, really, you just have to deal with steel types. And you have other moves for that. So basically, if you Terra Normal and you have your Extreme Speed going and you're like Choice Band or Life Orb or whatever item you're running on your Dragonite, this is a plus two priority move. It is faster than moves like Aqua Jet. It's faster than... Um, it's the same speed as Redirection. So if your Dragonite is literally just faster than their Indeedee, they can't... Or, I guess Amoongus is probably a better example. If your Dragonite is just faster than their Amoongus, you will move before them and they cannot redirect you. And you just go off. You literally can just click it every turn and do a huge chunk of damage to something before it knocks you out and you will hardly ever get one hit KO'd as a Dragonite because Dragonite is very bulky. <clears throat> and then on top of that, okay, Dragonite has the ability Inner Focus, which means that it cannot be flinched and it cannot be intimidated, which is insane for a pokemon that can hit you before you even get to move i don't think it's fair i'm sure that other people don't think it's fair i mean it's it's like fine whatever there's counterplay to it there's counterplay to everything but it is so strong right now why is it so strong well now in addition to dragonite we also have <coughs> entei who has the same attack stat as Hisui and Arcanine, who was doing this before. And Hisui and Arcanine is still relevant. It, it, it made day two. Somebody made day two with it. Let's see if I can find it here. I know I saw one. There was definitely one in day two. I think it was on stream as well. Uh, somebody made day two with Hisui and Arcanine. Just take my word for it. I don't see him. He's here somewhere. I promise he's here somewhere. There he is. There he is. And it's running extreme speed. I double checked. Um. So now, in addition to Dragonite, who has inner focus and extreme speed and a really high attack stat and can Terra normal like pretty easily, we also have Entei, who is a really high attack stat and the ability inner focus and can Terra normal really easily. Um, who also has Sacred Fire, which is just a super, super busted move. Like, yes, it can miss, but a base 100 fire type move with a 50% chance to burn is pretty darn good. And then there's what, what other moves you want to run on Entei. I don't know. I haven't messed with it yet, but, you know, it gets, um, Stomping Tantrum. I'm sure it gets 
like a bunch of other stuff that you could run. So not only do we have two really strong extreme speed users, we actually have three because Hasuga and Arcanine, like I said, is still relevant. It can still run extreme speed and it gets Intimidate. The only reason that Entei is kind of beating out Hasuga and Arcanine right now is because of Inner Focus. So like, we have two Pokemon in the format right now that cannot be flinched, they cannot be intimidated, and they can just Terra Normal and click extreme speed pretty much any turn that they want and will almost never be punished for it, which is super insane to me. Super insane to me. It's so crazy how many people were running Dragonite and Entei and Qian Pao at this regional. And then, you know, if you don't know what Qian Pao does, it has the ability Sword of Ruin, which says that the defense of every other Pokemon is only 75%, which means that that extreme speed hits so much harder. Um, priority moves have just become a problem, I think, right now in Scarlet and Violet, and... I'm sure that next generation, like, it, it won't be as big of a deal, but <clears throat> right now with Terrastalization, priority moves have become just crazy because, you know, priority moves have always had, like, the, the disadvantage that they're a little bit weaker, but now they can hit just as hard as a regular move and still be priority. And, you know, mind you, extreme speed hits about as hard as a regular move. It's already 80 base power. But now you're basically clicking double edge as <laughs> as a as a priority move and like you're you're really hitting some stuff like geez louise it's it's kind of insane um and like honestly like 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 i said just priority moves have just become so good in in scarlet and violet and it really just frustrates me because they've never been this good before and like you know this is just the generation for priority moves i guess because we have Dragonite, we have Entei, we have Arcanine, Chan Power, Sucker Punch, s straight up like King Gambit sets aren't even running Iron Head anymore. They're straight up just running like basically just Sucker Punch, like and Kowtow Cleave for like th this this plus two Dark type attack is so strong coming off of King Gambit that you don't need to run Steel coverage because your Dark coverage is just good enough. Like that's that's stupid. That's that's crazy to me. And then we've got Urshifu, obviously it has Aqua Jet. The Aqua Jet hits harder than it's ever hit, but it's, it's you know, it has all of its other physical tools here. It hits through Protect, which is crazy. I've seen these Aqua Jets do, you know, like 75% of things that are, that are neutral, which is like crazy. I've seen them KO things that are neutral. And like, for an Aqua Jet, that's kind of dumb, especially without any attack boosts. You've got Rillaboom's Grassy Glide, which was nerfed this generation. It went from 70 to 55 base power, which is very different. <laughs> and, and you know, you, you hit, you hit, you throw on the Miracle Seed and, and, and you get, you, you know, you tear a grass and it just does chunks of things with Qian Pao on the field. It's insane. Um, special attackers are starting to get on it. Like Thunderclap, it's not the first priority special move. There's a cut, there's... There's at least one other I can think of, is Vacuum Wave. I don't know if there's another special priority move. There really aren't so many. Most of them are physical attacks. But now we have a special priority move, which can be boosted by Chiyu. You can Terra Electric. You can run your, you know, booster energy special attacks. You don't have to take Life Orb Recoil. And just, you know, body things with just Thunderclap. Metagross is coming back. It's got Bullet Punch. Maybe people will do things with Bullet Punch. It's really good into Fluttermane. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> things are really strong right now um and here's 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 the part that really really bugs me okay this is the part that really bugs me we're gonna put flamigo in here because it's it's flamigo okay they gave us an answer to priority moves okay they tried they really tried to give us a splashable answer to priority moves that you can just throw on one mon it's just a move you can click Wider distribution than Quick Guard, which is, you know, already out there. They gave us Upper Hand, okay? <clears throat> upper Hand is a base 65 power fighting type move, which, for whatever reason, it's it's weaker than Sucker Punch. It's weaker than Thunderclap. It's weaker than Extreme Speed, okay? It's a fighting move, which means that it, it basically, you know, I mean, it hits things for weakness, but... Ghost types are immune, and then, you know, Psychic and Fairy types will resist it, and they're very, very common in the format. It does have a 100% flinch chance, and it has plus 3 priority, but 
It literally does not work unless your opponent clicks a priority damaging move. I learned this the other day the hard way. I was playing a game and I tried to click upper hand into a Tornadus Tailwind and it failed. It has to be a priority damaging move, not just Tailwind, not, you know, Prankster whatever. Which is stupid. They should have just let it work on Tailwind because this move is already going to be like so bad. I love it, but it's so bad. <clears throat> um, yeah, so basically, we have this move upper hand. Okay, 100% flinch. It's plus three priority, so it's faster than extreme speed. It is faster than fake out if you are faster than the fake out user. Very cool stuff, right? Right? Well, here's the deal. Okay, here's the rub. Uh, remember, remember how we were talking about inner focus? How Dragonite and Entei have inner focus? They can't be flinched. So yes, if they Terra normal, you will hit them for super effective damage. And you will do like a decent sized chunk, you know, if you have a good like attacker. I've been running Flamigo on a Colossal team, so the, the plus two upper hand does chunks to things. It KOs a lot of Incineroar. It does not KO a lot of Dragonites. And I haven't played very many Entei because for whatever reason, people haven't been using it as much in Showdown. It probably will not KO an Entei either. They have like comparable bulk, I think. Yeah, pretty, pretty comparable bulk. In fact, Entei might even be a little bit bulkier. So you're not going to KO them. You're not going to flinch them. You're just going to hit them and they're going to laugh at you and click extreme speed anyway. Like, <laughs> why? Why did they do this? Oh, they gave us, they tried, okay? They tried to give us an answer, but they did not fully understand the scope of the thing that they have brought upon us. Inner focus, extreme, inner focus, Terra normal extreme speed is stupid. It's so strong. Okay? Like, like, I just, I just, please, somebody save us. I don't want to have to run Farigaraf on every team. I mean, I run Ndidi on a lot of teams already because I really like Ndidi as a support Pokemon. But, you know, you can get around Psychic Terrain. See, aforementioned Rillaboom. And, and it's just... <laughs> I don't want to run Farigaraf on every team, guys. I can't do it. It doesn't fit on every team. I can't do it. Sometimes I need all six Pokemon for other things. <sighs> I don't know. Like I said, maybe Metagross comes in. Like it's weak to Sucker Punch, but at least it resists. Um, at least it resists Extreme Speed. I don't know. I, I think Extreme Speed is just a stupid move. And I feel like maybe even it could get nerfed next generation. Like, they should make it the same base power as Sucker Punch. 70, I think, would be a lot better for, you know, everybody who isn't running extreme speed. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you have Quick Guard. Flamigo actually gets Quick Guard, which maybe it's better to run Quick Guard. I don't know. Um, I just really like Upper Hand. It's such a funny move. And I thought Upper Hand could stop Tailwind, but apparently it's only damaging moves, which is so stupid. If, if, if Upper Hand could stop Priority Tailwind or like, you know, Prankster or whatever, I think it would genuinely be like a pretty good move that you could justify in a lot of Mons. And it just isn't because, because they said so. <laughs> Why? Because I said it doesn't work on that. It's, it's basically just plus three fighting Sucker Punch that, that flinches, except only Priority Damaging moves. It's, it's so bad. I'm so upset. Oh, oh man. <laughs> This has turned into more of a sad rant than an angry rant, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. There, uh, like I said, there's obviously this counterplay. The meta will adapt. It'll be fine, but... I think priority moves are just a little bit too good right now. And... And I really wish that they weren't. Because like I said, I, I like Furigaraf. It's a funny Pokemon. It's a cool design. It does its niche very well. But I don't want to have to run on every team. I don't want to have to run Psychic Terrain on every team because Psychic Terrain, you know, is, is pretty fragile, honestly, with how much Rillaboom there is in the format. Bruxish apparently is, is low-key good. Maybe, maybe you know, expect a Bruxish video in the future here. Um, but I just... <laughs> I just want to understand what they were thinking with some of these things, right? Like, like, like we're leaving... <coughs> 
I mean, if Palafin was good right now, it'd be part of the problem, right? Because Jet Punch is stronger than Aqua Jet and only a little bit weaker than Extreme Speed. <sighs> Maybe Palafin will be good again. Palafin can do, does Palafin get Quick Guard? Hold on, we're going on a field trip. Oop. No. Garbage, trash. Does Palafin get upper hand? No? I feel like it should. I feel like Palafin of all Pokemon should probably get upper hand. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why doesn't Palafin get upper hand? The whole new angry rant. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I guess that's all I have to say. Um, I don't know if I really said anything coherent. I just kind of wanted to talk about priority moves. They're they're so good right now, and and I I just wish that they weren't. <laughs> Do you feel the same way? Let me know down in the comments section. Are you, are you mad about Extreme Speed 2? Um, and if you're all the way here at the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe. You just listened to me ramble incoherently for like, like, you know, like 17 minutes or so. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Become an Andy LaFan today. Um, yeah, I don't know. With that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Once upon a time, man, I heard that I was struggling. Came from a gym where power creep wasn't coming in. Face long, stats tight, defense up, shack height. Sturdy on me, sash like, got the TM last night. Hit me with that good move, make this mountain act right. Bast boys, better hit that building. I know that's right. Big Bast busting out these body presses, better buy a body bag and beat them back and make them pack it up. Big Bast busting out these body presses, better buy a body bag and